The Detroit Lions training camp is full swing, loving it, and really looking for some outliers, some things that we can really put our hold our hat on to because really remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to win the division. We haven't done in forever. We've never won the North, in, in fact. Win the division and, and win some playoff games, right? It's even hard to even, even talk about. We haven't even been close to this, let alone talk about it. But in order to do that, you need to have some guys come out of the woodwork that really we didn't have last year or really take a step up from last year. And there's a player that I, I think absolutely I, I love, and he's doing really good things. But before we start that, I want to know, cur- curiosity, what players, what current NF or Detroit Lions are, is your favorite? Who's your favorite Detroit Lions player right now? Mine is, uh, this is just the lazy answer, but Hutchinson. I love it. Love what he's doing. Love what he's going to be in year two. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. But the guy I'm talking about that can be a secret weapon for the Detroit Lions is our guy, Brian Branch. I got two clips to show you. Then I'm going to show you why he can be used as a secret weapon um, for the Detroit Lions. First one, Khalif Raymond on the left. Step for step with our guy, our speedster, our specialty guy in Khalif Raymond. He step for step with him. Boom, breaks it up. And what I love about that clip so much is because he knows he can't hang with him necessarily. Here's another one. Boom, he's right there. He's right there with Josh Reynolds. <sighs> Here it is again. You can see how on the left with Khalif Raymond, he knows I can't afford to look back. Raymond's too fast, so I'm going to play the hands. Play the hands. I'm going to swipe. I'm going to find it. Beautiful. So he's right there with our fastest wide receiver. So what does this do for us defensively? We have gone from a team defensively that couldn't. We had Jerry Jacobs and Jeff Okuda as our corners, and then like Mike Hughes and you know just some average guys. I mean, I don't need to whisper. Average, average dudes that. Just couldn't, we couldn't do a lot with. Now, if you look at our, and I got a couple, of, I got one other guy that that's going to be interesting as well. But now when you look at our depth chart in the secondary, and this is why he's going to be a secret weapon for us. You've got Cameron Sutton on one corner, Mosley or Jacobs, probably Jacobs to start the season. Mosley, we're not sure what's going on with him. But yeah, Cameron Sutton and Jerry Jacobs at the corner. You've got Kirby Joseph, Tracy Walker at the safeties. Oh, yeah, C.J. Gardner-Johnson kind of in the slot, hybrid, safety, linebacker. He's our best secondary player. Oh, yeah, he's just he's just out there roaming. And then you've got Brian Branch, who just showed he can be he can stay with Josh Reynolds, bigger, taller receiver. He can stay with our speedster guy in Khalif Raymond. So now you go into dime packages, and we've got great cover corners all over the place. You can bring Brian Branch in just in game planning. You're looking at it and you're like, you know what? We're going to have you follow around. I mean, even like, I mean, I'm going to go extreme here, but like Justin Jefferson, look, Branch, we're just going to have you follow him around. You're going to get help over the top. We're going to help you, but we want you to just be pesky, pesky on some of these really good wide receivers, tight ends, slot guys. Brian Branch can do it all, and he can be a really good addition for us in the secondary, then to allow us to do things that we haven't been able to do, where Branch is now the guy that's in coverage. C.J. Gardner-Johnson is blitzing. Linebackers are blitzing. It opens up everything when now you have one, two, three, four, five, six really good cover guys. Not, not even cover guys, just good secondary guys, like six starters that you could put on the field, no questions asked, and they can be in the secondary. Versus last year, Tracy Walker's hurt, Kirby Joseph's in his first year, Jerry Jacobs is our only like pretty good guy, Okuda's up and down. Ah, man, the secondary, it was just, it was just hard to get anything going, and so we had to really, the Lions have talked about it many times, dumb it down to just like, we're not going to be able to do a whole lot but now with Brian Branch, he's covering, he's blitzing, he's covering uh, tight ends. It's going to be really fun to see what we do with him uh, because he's he's a good player. Remember, in college for Alabama, so Alabama, big-time games, big-time opponents, he is their best cover guy and best tackler. 
on Alabama, right? So Will Anderson was great, but I mean, he's not covering anybody. He's a, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So like, you've got this guy that could be really, really good. Everyone thought he was a first rounder. No question. Best safety out there. We somehow get him in the middle of the second round, which is just going to be, it's going to turn out to be one of the best things I think we've done um, in the last few years. I think it's going to be right up there with the Am- Amon Ross St. Brown stuff where, I mean, Amon Ross St. Brown will always be special because it's like fourth rounder turned out to be just an absolute stud, but Still, Brian Branch, I think it's going to be, like, wait, he was a second round pick. This guy should have been a first rounder. No question about it because we keep saying it. We know that you got to run the ball, stop the run in the NFL, but passing plays are so gashy, if you will. It's so like, oh my gosh, give up a 40 yard bomb. It's so hard to overcome that field positions just flip. So we, we are not going to give up a lot of big plays through the air. And I love, you've got, again, you've got Kirby Joseph, who's just going to be in his second year. Tracy Walker's back. I mean, this is in his fourth or fifth year. Cameron Sutton is a veteran. CJ Gardner-Johnson is just an animal. I mean, just like, he's he's our Rashid Wallace of, of the Lions. Brings attitude, a little bit of swag, not backing down. It's okay. And, but has the game, that's the whole thing. Anyone can talk out there, and that's the difference between talking and like talking is when you are when you are a guy like CJ Gardner Johnson that has the talent or Rashid Wallace. You've got the talent. Rashid could just, man, he could get any shot he wanted out there. He was a great passer, great defender, great teammate. So when he talked crap, it was like, yeah, absolutely. Everybody backed it up and loved it because he was the guy that could get it done. Same with CJ Gardner Johnson. Love it. The guy's been with the Saints, been in Super Bowls. He's a good, good player, and he gives our defense an edge. So now I, I, I think what I, when you look at the defense, that, that's where it really stands out. You've got, you've got edge rushers. Charles Harris is, is one that's going to be very good this year. You've got defensive tackles. Levi just keeps uh, participating. Okay. You've got linebackers. So the defense, we all know last year really struggled. But I, I thought, I've always thought that Aaron Glenn is really, really good. And we have to give him credit last year because as, as bad as it was and they were making mistakes, he recognized we're just going to dumb this thing down and just try to play it straight up. So I give him credit for that. But I think Deep down in his heart, he wants to be an innovative defensive coordinator. He wants to bring blitzes, pressures, different things, pass things off, switches. I mean, all the stuff that really good defenses can do in a modern NFL on top of really set the tone as well. Not just stand back and like, all right, let's see what you can do. It's like, no, we're not going to, we're going to push it a little bit. We're going to blitz when we have to. We're going to do all the things that, that we need to. So I think Brian Branch is going to open up a lot of things that we want to do defensively that there's no way we could have done it last year, but he's, he's a piece of a bigger puzzle of the Cameron Sutton, CJ Gardner, Johnson's healthy Tracy second year Kirby. Like, let's go. I love it. So again, let me know your your thoughts in the comments on your current favorite Detroit lion. Mine's Aiden Hutchinson. And you know, I'm going to tell you this one, Sam Laporta. And if you've been following the channel for long, you know that, that's kind of funny because I couldn't stand that pick when we did it. A tight end from Iowa. I was like, are you kidding me? Now, I'm like, it's just what we needed. If we're being honest, we didn't have a tight end. We had guys that we talked ourselves into after Hawkinson was traded just to be like, yeah, we're good. We're good at we're good at tight. We don't even need Hawkinson. Yeah, we needed somebody though. Hawkinson, no. Couldn't stand Hawkinson. If you've been following the channel for this long, if you've been watching the video for this long, thank you. Hit subscribe. I can't believe that we are at uh, 10, 11,000 subs. We've been, we've been hanging in there with you guys and, and just bringing the information as much as we possibly can uh, because the Lions, man, the Lions are going to be exciting. And even don't give up on the Pistons. I know. I know. We're all like, pumped about the Lions. Don't give up on the Pistons. If the Pistons can start winning, how fun would that be? But, I mean, it's all about the Lions, and we'll see all of you on the next one.